Brothers and sisters, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Ben Wagner to say a few words. Uh, I want to join uh, Sister Anne in thanking you for being here today, and I want to thank uh, uh, Dr. Matwali and all the people here at Salam uh, for making this event uh, possible. I hopeful, I, hopefully you will find it um, useful and practical, um, and uh, I want to encourage you to sort of participate and ask questions along the way. So, um, so people who, uh, who don't know what my office is, and that's, that's a lot of people. Um, a lot of people confuse our office with the California Attorney General's office, with the District Attorney. So um, I'm the U.S. Attorney. Uh, my boss is the uh, Attorney General in Washington. I was appointed by President Obama to be the U.S. Attorney for this district. We call it the Eastern District of California. It's a district that stretches from the Oregon border down to the Los Angeles County line. And it's everything in, internal uh, in the state of California, not the Bay Area, not the coast. It's about 34 counties, the Central Valley, the Sierras, and uh, some other parts of the state. Uh, and our, uh, my office has the responsibility, as the name implies, we're, we are the lawyer for the federal government. And so we represent the federal government in lawsuits in federal courts, either when the, some agency is uh, initiating a lawsuit or being sued. And then uh, what we're probably most known for and what we spend uh, the majority of our time on is we are also the federal criminal prosecutors. So we prosecute violations of federal law. And those range the gamut from child exploitation cases to uh, mortgage fraud cases, to national security matters, to narcotics and violent crime, just a whole, uh, whole raft of uh, federal criminal violations. And we have attorneys in Sacramento uh, and in Fresno who, uh, who do that. Um, so one of the things that uh, the Department of Justice generally, and my office in particular, uh, has tried to focus on uh, over the last few years, uh, among the many, many different things that we do, one of the things that uh, has been a priority lately is uh, increased engagement with the Muslim community. Uh, and it's something which people who know me and my background, it's something I've been interested in for many years. I've lived in Muslim countries, I've worked in Muslim countries. Uh, it's always been an interest of mine. But fortunately, it's not just an interest of mine, it's also uh, a priority in the Department of Justice to be more engaged with the Muslim community. There was a lot of, uh, you know, mistrust and distance, I think, between the federal government, particularly law enforcement, and many people in the Muslim community after 9-11. And of course, with all of the uh, tragic things that are going on in the Middle East right now, and uh, the, uh, the uh, threats uh, over there and here, it's, it, it's, there's a danger of that being, um, that gap um, being uh, uh, a really unfortunate thing for, uh, for the community. We want to try to build bridges, build uh, understanding, not just short term. This isn't just about sort of a reaction to, you know, what's in the news. It's a long term process. One of the things about the Muslim community, and I was glad that Ann mentioned that one of the things that the Salam Center is trying to do and always has been a leader in doing is sort of defining an American identity for the uh, Muslim community uh, in this area. And that's, we really share that goal. Um, and one of the things that we want to promote, not just in the Muslim community, by the way, but in many of the other communities in this district, we spend time with the Southeast Asian community, we spend time in the Latino community. <clears throat> one of the things we want to do is to welcome people of all communities into government service, into the practice of law, uh, into law enforcement, and so that we, as your servants, we are public servants, we respond to the taxpayer, we respond to the residents of, of this area. We need to, to understand, not only understand uh, your all's uh, interests, your concerns to more effectively represent you, but we need to reflect uh, who you are uh, as a community, the, the, the whole community. So over the long term, um, one of the things that I think is very obvious to everybody is there are not enough Muslim Americans in law enforcement in government, uh, and in practicing law generally. Um, uh, many uh, people in the Muslim communities have roots in countries where law enforcement is not trusted, where uh, the legal profession is not, uh, is not respected. It's often in, in countries where it is the service of a, of a system that is viewed as corrupt. Um, and in this country, it's quite different. And so uh, traditionally in the Muslim community, as many of you know, 
the path forward has been through engineering or through business and things like that. And I don't want to talk that down because my son's in engineering school, so I'm not going to say anything negative about that. But we want to encourage people to think about, in this country, think about careers in law, in government, in law enforcement. And so one of the things that we hope to accomplish today is to uh, share a little bit about sort of who we are. And when I say we, I don't just mean our, my office, although that's part of it. Um, but I mean more generally people in government, in law enforcement, um, and, uh, and in the law. So uh, hopefully what we'll accomplish today, what we've tried to do is put together an agenda which has things that we think are interesting that we want to share with the community, but along, in the course of that get sort of a, you know, share with you kind of some of the things that we do, that we spend our time on, some of the things that we're thinking about, some of the messages we're trying to get out to the public, but also hear from you and ha answer your questions and have kind of a dialogue and a discussion about what we do, about law enforcement, about careers in government, about the practice of law, those kinds of things. So I hope that as we go forward, it'll be sort of interactive. Um, we're a small enough group that, you know, we can just put our hands up, answer questions, interrupt, um, because our goal here is not so much to kind of preach, but just kind of expose to everybody, these are kinds of things we're interested in, what are you interested in, how can we answer your questions, how can we get you engaged and interested in careers, uh, in the law, in what we do, and even if you're not at a stage in your life when you are looking for a new career, if you just, um, if we can answer your questions and kind of expose a little bit more about who we are and what we, what we do so that you can spread that around the community, then that would be a benefit to all of us.